narcissists are the self-entitled hypocrite. They believe that they should be allowed to do what they want to do. They feel entitled to do what they want to do. They believe they are above others. However, they don't like to admit to their own mistakes. They don't like to admit to their own wrongdoings. They like to find somebody else to blame for those. So they don't have to face the consequences for their very own actions. This video is going to be about some ways that narcissists covertly shift the blame over to other people to escape accountability for the very things they are doing to those people. Thank you very much to all the returning subscribers and your continued support with the channel. If you are new to the channel, I'm Elizabeth Shaw. This channel is all about the narcissist personality disorder to give you more understanding of the people you might be dealing with in your life, how to handle yourself around those people if you cannot go no contact and different methods to find what works for you to help you overcome narcissistic abuse. If you do find the information on the channel helpful, please do subscribe. So number one, a narcissist will ignore the facts. They will skirt around the issue. They will leave out bits of information. They will fall on the silent treatment and refuse to communicate about the very things that they've done wrong. A narcissist will go all out to ignore any mistakes they have made to frustrate you in the conversation. And usually through that frustration, they can bait you into a reaction so that then they can focus on your reaction and get you to ignore what they did because you're busy focusing on how you reacted to them. Two, playing the victim, especially once they've got your reaction, they will turn around and say things like, oh, that's just like you. Oh, it's always my fault. I knew it would be my fault. Nobody understands me. Nobody ever takes my side. They are going to do all they can to pull on your sympathy so that they can play the victim to get away with their behaviour. Three, finding reasons to justify their behaviour, usually by accusing you of doing something that you might not have even done, to get you on the defensive so that they don't have to be on the defensive. They can twist it around saying, well, it's okay that I did this because you did that. And you might not have even done that thing that they're saying, or they might take the thing you said out of context so then they switch the roles and you start defending yourself to them which draws you into an argument with them and many narcissists say I don't want to argue however they will set the environment to draw you into the argument so that they can escape the accountability for their behaviour and focus in on your behaviour. They're twisting it around to get you to defend yourself for things that you haven't even done so they can justify the things that they shouldn't have done. They might start raging, they might start acting overly aggressive um, out of context, out of proportion to the situation. They might fly into that rage to put that fear into you so that you don't continue the discussion, so that you don't continue the conversation, so that there is never a solution to the problem, so that they can carry on doing the things that they do to you while you fall to their behaviour for fear of reactions from them. And they will blame you for the rage. They will turn into the victim. If you hadn't have accused me, if you hadn't have done this to me, they're always going to be on that very woe is me defensive to get you to go on the defensive so that they can play the martyr. Five, gaslighting. Gaslighting is a hideous form of psychological manipulation where they want you to doubt your reality. They want you to doubt your opinions. They want you to doubt your 
emotions. They want you to question yourself. They want you to no longer feel enough. They want you to go to them for the reality check so that they can further their control over you. They're going to come at you with things like, that didn't happen. You're going crazy. You're insecure. You're overreacting. You're too sensitive. How can you of all people not remember to get you to question yourself and stop questioning them. Number six is going to be one of those where you're going to have to adapt to their way of thinking or they are going to find a way for punishing you for thinking for yourself. They might take over the conversation. They might bring third parties into the conversation to get you to doubt yourself, what third parties have or have not done to get you to doubt who you are as a person. They might come at you with the intimidating behaviour, things such as no one will love you like I do. After all I've done for you. You're nothing without me. To get you to fear abandonment from them because many narcissists fear being abandoned within themselves. If they haven't got another source of supply lined up, they're going to do all they can to manipulate you to be their supply while they get away with what they are doing to you. Seven, telling outright lies telling you that they haven't done something that you know full well they have or telling you that you've done something that you know full well you haven't done. Yet when you when you have facts and evidence and you go to a narcissist, no one throws a bigger tantrum than a narcissist being shown facts and evidence of something they definitely did do because they want to escape responsibility of the things they did to you. So if you catch a narcissist cheating on you or cheating you out of something or lying to you and you go to them with evidence, even if a message just pings on their phone and you manage to catch it and go to them, they're going to come at you with, you've got trust issues. Why don't you trust me? Why have you been through my things? They're going to shift it straight back onto you so that you question who you are and not who they are. So you're left in that mindset of, is it me? Is it them? It's them. No, it was me. And they get you to the point where you're the one going, if I hadn't have done this, they wouldn't have done that because they are going to be gaslighting you with, if you hadn't, I wouldn't when regardless of what you've done if they've done something wrong they have done something wrong we all have to be responsible for our own behavior and we have to learn to pass responsibility back to the rightful owner for their behavior eight bringing up the past which is another one of the examples of a narcissist hypocrisy because they are the self-entitled hypocrite. Therefore, they can have an excellent selective memory. They can bring up the past of things they did, only they only did those things so that they could use them against you in the future. And they will forget all you have done for them. And in the conversation, if you try to remind them of the things that you've done for them, they're going to accuse you of living in the past and bringing up the past. However, it's okay for them to bring up the past. You're just not allowed to bring up that past. It's that catch-22, that double bind. You are not going to win with a narcissist because they believe it's wrong. One rule for them and another rule for you. Nine, making untrue statements, making unfair statements, making unjust statements so that they can get away with the things that they do, which ties into number eight, where they're allowed to bring up the past, but you're not allowed to bring up the past. They're allowed to say, if you loved me, you would, but they won't do something for you because they don't love you, not in the way you love them. They love what they can exploit from 
you. A narcissist can turn around with an unfair statement of after all I've done for you when all they've done for you is to manipulate you to get their own needs met but you're not allowed to bring up all you've done for them which is usually going above and beyond for them. When it comes to people pleasers there is those who people please to help others feel better about themselves, which in turn makes the person who's pleasing the other person feel better about themselves. Narcissistic people, people please to get their own needs met, to lull people into a false sense of security so that the narcissist can exploit that person's kindness. Narcissists, people please for their own gains, for their own advantage. 10. Pointing out your faults, your weaknesses, your mistakes. We are all human. We all make mistakes in life. A narcissist will not let them lie. However, they expect you to not bring up any of their mistakes. They expect you to not recognise their mistakes. To them, they don't make the mistakes. It's good and bad. Everything that's good within the relationship is down to them. Anything that's bad within the relationship to a narcissist is down to you. So they're going to bring up all your flaws. They're going to bring up all your insecurities. They are going to do all they can to bring you down to feel better about themselves. And arguments. A narcissist is going to argue for argument's sake while saying and claiming that they do not want to argue with you but they're going to run that argument round in circles because there is never any closure there's never any solution given to a situation if it doesn't match the narcissist needs or if they're trying to hide something from you that they don't want you to know about they're going to go around the houses time and time again to avoid giving you the information that more often than not you actually have but because you're looking for that companionship because you're looking for that mutual respect because you're looking for that understanding because you're looking for that validation you keep going to the very person who's not going to ever give you those things they lack the capabilities they lack the empathy they lack the compassion they lack the object consistency to be able to give you those things. Your answers lay in your instincts, your answers lay in their actions, your closure is that that is who they are as a person. You're not going to change them into the person they sold themselves to be because whenever they play nice, whenever they give that intermittent reinforcement, is all to manipulate you so that they get their own needs met. The whole package is who they are as a person. They are not a nice, genuine, kind, loving person towards you because that's who they are. They act that way so that they can exploit you for who you are. They can exploit you for your loving nature. They can exploit you for your willingness to give. They can exploit you for your kindness. They can exploit you for your forgiveness. They can exploit you for your past pain. They can exploit you for seeking that validation to get their own needs met. Whatever a narcissist is doing is about meeting a need of their own. They come first and foremost in anything in life and they will always come before you. They will always come before their own children. If they do love depends on the actual narcissist themselves but it's that conditional love so long as their needs are getting met they do not understand unconditional love they do not understand the whole give and take they are very selfish hypocritical self-entitled people forgiveness is for you depending on who you are as a person whatever it takes so that you can move forward with your life and leave them in your past where they belong.
with many narcissists, the best approach is no contact. If you cannot go no contact, it's learning about who they are as a person, recognising who they are as a person, recognising their behaviour, recognising their manipulation, having your shield up and not absorbing it, deflecting it back and leaving them to it while you live your life, remembering what they say, what they do, says nothing about who you are as a person and it says everything about who they are as a person. And yes, many narcissists can get you into a situation where you're defending yourself so you feel like you're acting narcissistic and that's the situation they have pulled you into and it's a painful situation to be in. It's painful to break free of that situation. However, that pain is temporary. Staying around a narcissist, that pain is permanent. Breaking free from a narcissist, that pain is temporary. Yes, it's going to hurt and we have to find the correct methods, whether that is our thought process, whether that is self-care, whether that is finding our passion, finding our drive, whether that is helping others, it's finding what helps us work through that pain so that we can release that pain and move on to finding our joy. Life hits, there's always going to be situations in life that are going to hit hard and it's finding our coping mechanisms that work for us so that we can cope in any given situation until that situation passes because situations do pass. If anyone has any thoughts on the video, please add those into the comments. Thank you very much for listening. Go out there and create the day that you deserve because you do deserve to have an amazing day. Bye.